In the 60s, Egypt succeeded in the project of Helwan 300 fighter. The Helwan was a single-engine Delta Wing light supersonic interceptor aircraft developed in Egypt during 1960s. It was designed by the German aircraft designer Willy. The Helwan fighter was originally designed around the 46.3 kN after burning Bristol Sidley turbojet engine. But aside from whether the British would release it for the use by Egyptians, President Nasser saw that being dependent on a British engine was a major threat to national security due to the potential foreign embargo to ground the aircrafts. Thanks to continued British hostility toward Egypt following the 1956 Swiss crisis when Britain, France and Israel invaded Egypt at various states, Spain and India were involved in the development of this program. Spain was financing two projects, the HA-200 and the Hispano Helwan, but cancelled the Helwan project before a prototype was built due to overruns. Egypt then took over financing and the program was transferred to Egypt where both it and its engine would be made and where the aircraft was successfully flown. Near the end of the program, India began financing development of E-300 engine for the use in Indian HF-24 Marut jet fighter. The Helwan was an ambitious and costly project for Egypt at a time when it was seeking to expand both its civilian and defense aviation industry. Six aircraft had entered in the service before the project was terminated in 1969. In the 80s, Egypt asked France to manufacture Mirage 2000 fighters. So the Americans intervened to waste the opportunity on Egypt and made an offer to Egypt to manufacture the Falcon locally from aid and funds, which Egypt preferred at the time to reduce the burden of the budget. Unfortunately, the USA never fulfilled this contract and paid the penalty in the mid-90s after wasting the opportunity for Egypt. But in 2021, the Egyptian dream is now renewed and the manufacture of JF-17 plane is on the table if Pakistan and China meets the Egyptian demands to produce a tactical plane that is cheap in price and has low cost in maintenance and operations, allowing the operation of a large number of them, which is jointly developed by Pakistan and China.